Greenland, Gerahlit Nunat, is known as the world's largest island and is located in the North American continent. The winters are cold and the summers mild with a local variation. In North Greenland, the climate is high Arctic. Here the summers are cool with midnight sun, while the winters are harsh and the polar light lasts one to five months. Mid and South Greenland generally has a low Arctic climate. However, in the deep fjords of South Greenland, the climate is subarctic, allowing for a few trees to grow. The highest temperature measured in Greenland since 1958 is 25.9 degrees Celsius on the west coast of Greenland in July 2013. The coldest place in Greenland is the ice cap, where the temperatures can drop below negative 70 degrees Celsius. Greenland is a self-governing region within the Kingdom of Denmark. In 1721, Greenland became a Danish colony, in 1953 a Danish county, and in 1979 home rule was granted. Self-government was established on June 21, 2009. Huge country, small population. Despite this, the population is spread out in most of the coast. Due to the cold climate, Greenland basically has a large need for energy. Since the 1990s, five hydropower plants have been built. Smaller towns, settlements and outer districts still rely entirely on fossil fuels for production of electricity. In 2016, the actual emission of greenhouse gases from energy consumption was 525,148 ton CO2 equivalent. Compared to 1990, the actual emission of greenhouse gases from energy consumption has dropped 16%. Being a part of the Kingdom of Denmark, Greenland has two seats in the Folketing, the Parliament of Denmark. The Inetisartut, the Parliament of Greenland, with 31 members, and Nalegersøsut, the government, are both located in the capital city Nuuk. Most of the population is of Greenlandic ancestry. The remainder is predominantly Danish, though it has become increasingly international. From the 1960s on, the town populations have been growing rapidly, absorbing the net population growth as well as the migration from the settlements. Men and women born in Greenland have a shorter life expectancy than the average of the Western world. This is primarily due to a high mortality rate caused by accidents and suicide. The general birth pattern has remained stable during the last 10 years. Towns differ from settlements in fertility rate. Women in settlements give birth to more children than those in towns. In Greenland, women give birth to their first child 3 to 5 years earlier than women in the other Nordic countries. The mean age for Greenlandic primipari is 24.7 years. Greenland has a total populous overweight of men, as the workforce born outside of Greenland consists of two-thirds men and one-third women. A large proportion of the Greenlandic labor market are public jobs in municipalities or the government of Greenland. In towns, most people work as employees. In settlements, a large proportion are mainly huntsmen and fishermen. In settlements, income level is considerably lower than in towns. The difference in average gross income between the settlements and towns is most significant in Gumunagafik Selmursok. Here, the average income of a Nuuk resident is more than twice the average income of a settlement resident. 
In 2017, men had an average gross income of 36,300 euros, while women held an average gross income of 28,100 euros. Hence, on a national level, the average man had an income of 25% higher than the average woman. However, men are overrepresented in the typical economically active groups, and women are overrepresented in the oldest age groups. This may in part cause a difference in income. In Greenland, income correlates with education level. When the level of education increases, the level of income increases as well. The income inequality in Greenland is higher than the Nordic average. Huntsmanship has been a way of life in Greenland for generations. Even today, hunting provides an important supplement to household economy. Hunting is regulated by means of seasons and permissions. A general hunting license is mandatory for anyone who wants to hunt. The general license comes in two breeds, professional and recreational. In addition, a specific license is needed when hunting quota, limited species. The quota system regulates the number of animals available for hunting. Professional hunting license holders usually don't make a full living from hunting. In addition, they will often do dingy fishing in the summer and ice fishing in the winter. Fishing is the single most important trait of Greenland. Fishing for prawns and Greenlandic halibut and some other species is regulated by quota and license regulations decided by the government. Fishing comes in two breeds, coastal and offshore fishing. Coastal fishing supplies land-based seafood buyers while the offshore fishing fleet primarily consists of factory vessels with onboard production. The fishing industry provides 93% of Greenland's export. The most important species are codfish, Greenlandic halibut, mackerel, crab and shrimps. Greenland's economy depends on exports of fish and shrimp and on a block grant from the Danish government. Fish account for over 90% of its exports, subjecting the economy to price fluctuations. The block grant from the Danish government was about 513 million euros in 2018. The economy is expanding after a period of decline. The expansion has been driven by larger quotas for shrimp, the predominant Greenlandic export, and also by increased activity in the construction sector, especially in Nuuk, the capital. Private consumption and tourism are also contributing to GDP growth more than in previous years. Most public services are available free of charge for citizens and enterprises. Public expenditures are mainly financed through taxes and block grants from the Danish state. However, some services are financed through duties or user fees. Thank you for your attention.